I'm Marja Martinez in for Chief Meteorologist Mark Nelson. If we take a look across our area, we had a lot of sunshine earlier, but we're already starting to see some clouds push in, especially to downtown Portland from the Tillicum Crossing. Kind of seeing gray skies right now. Out toward Mount Hood, still seeing blue and plenty of that out toward Seaside as well. Right now, it is 57 degrees in Tillamook, 54 in John Day, 55 in Baker City with warmer temperatures out toward the Dalles where they're sitting in the low 60s. That's uh, where we're at here in Portland as well. But we've got some big changes on the way. All of us cooling off a few degrees here overnight with this system that's moving in. So by tomorrow, we'll be back down into the 50s for our afternoon temperatures and we'll have plenty of showers. Here's a look at the timing of this system. So you can see right there the band of rain that's headed our way. It's lifting to the north. So the first people who are going to get it down toward Eugene, down toward Salem, and also in the central coast. Then that spreads to the north so that those showers reach us right around midday here in Portland and stick around for that evening commute. And notice the same is the case in eastern Oregon. So you're also going to get showers, but snow showers too. And that would be at higher elevations right around or above 5,000 feet because the snow level is kind of high for right now. Thursday, we do see a nice dry start to the day, but notice those showers start to form once again during the afternoon and the same is the case on Friday. Although one thing to notice is Friday they're going to be much more isolated. So we're seeing less of that shower activity for our Friday and by Saturday we kick off our weekend with really nice weather, mainly sunny skies, which is great because that's how uh, this is of course spring break and that's how you want to end spring break week, right? But there are going to be some showers that return to our area on Sunday evening. The timing of this depends on which computer model you're looking at right now. Some of them hold that off until Monday, but I want you to be prepared just in case they start to sneak in on Sunday evening. For this uh, Wednesday, temperatures going to be around 54 degrees at 3 p.m. It's going to be a little breezy with winds coming in from the east occasionally gusting to about 25 miles per hour, but then the wind shifts to the south and it dies down significantly. Out at the coast, winds will also vary, first coming in from the east and later shifting to the south. Temperatures will climb to 58 in Astoria with mainly cloudy skies and plenty of showers along the coast, but not a whole lot of downpours, really none of those. We're only looking at about a tenth of an inch of rain in the valley as well. So not this system really not packing a big punch. Those showers spreading to the north. So Albany 57 will be your high and you'll get them a little sooner in the day right around mid morning and then they'll make their way into the Portland metro area around noon. As you head out toward the gorge, you're also going to see those showers during the afternoon. The high at Multnomah Falls 54 52 in the Dalles. Out toward the Cascade expects rain and snow showers. The snow level right around 5000 feet doesn't look like travel will be very tricky along the passes. They have not issued any winter storm warnings with the system. So really you're looking at a couple of flurries and travel conditions aren't going to be too difficult. Mount Hood Meadows 36 will be the high there. I know a lot of people are out in the mountain trying to do some skiing this spring break and there's plenty of powder on the ground for that. Central and Eastern Oregon looking great. 53 will be the high in Baker City so temperatures will be comfortable. Yes, I say looking great even though there's going to be showers because there's not going to be significant rainfall. Here's a look at how much rain will fall throughout the state as we get into this uh, the second half of the work week. So by Friday we're looking at only about a quarter of an inch of rainfall out toward Burns. Less than that here in Portland. Probably the heaviest hit areas, maybe Astoria out toward Lincoln City, where they could end up with just under half of an inch of rain. And remember, that is an accumulation of Thursday and Friday. As we get into our weekend forecast, that's when it is going to start to dry out. Saturday, we'll start to see mostly sunny skies. And this icon should say mostly sunny. I've got to change that for the forecast. Sunday, those showers start to pop in, but very late in the day. And by Monday, we're looking at rain again as we return to work and to school. Be sure to have your umbrellas on hand and don't forget as you plan your spring break to download the Fox 12 weather app so you can stay informed even when we're not on air.